you're no longer perfect but still unbeaten and you get a point on the road uh, it's still a good result for the club is that how you see it um yeah i think uh it's difficult when you play kansas i think we play quite similar so we tend to counter each other out but um i think i think if we were we were disappointed with the result. We can't say that we weren't. And we were more disappointed, I think, with our performance because we didn't think that we played very well. So I think that's the thing that we, we keep talking about is that we just need to keep working hard and training, putting the things right that we haven't been doing well. And then, um, you know, results will be what they are. And I think um, that's our focus. It's been our focus from day one. We didn't get, you know, too overly uh, happy when we were winning. And we're not going to get overly down the fact that we didn't. Um, we're just going to keep working on the things that we need to be better at and, and keep, you know, quite a level head on. There's things that we, we do well and there's things that we haven't done so great and we just need to keep working on those things. And, and when they start clicking and working together, I think then the results will, the results will come back. You know, it was an interesting game. I felt like it was almost like the same 90 minutes that was what were played here last week against Kansas City. Really not a lot of opportunities. That one somehow was 3-2. This one seemed like a more fitting scoreline of 1-1. One, one. Uh, is that just the backline play of just being top-notch from both sides? I think both teams defend really well. I think, you know, if you look at the amount of opportunities that each team allow inside their 18-yard box, it's really limited. And, um, and, you know, I think for our back line, a credit and then also a disappointment that I think we've conceded one goal in open play inside of our 18-yard box all season. And, um, and that's credit to how we defend as a team. But I think, you know, we want to be better um, and try and stop opportunities to have shots on goal. And if we can do that, then we obviously reduce the, the chances of being being scored on and um, and I think we did that against Kansas but you know we've we will always analyze and try and make sure that whatever we did to concede that goal that we'll try not to do it again the team once again showed its re re resiliency much like Washington give up a goal get it right back that was all played by Ellie Reed. I know you you think very highly of her so far this season and her ability to stretch the field and get up top and and really earn the penalty what have you seen from her yeah, I think she was probably about our best player the other night. Um, she's been consistently good all season, and I think that was probably her best performance going forward, um, not just defensively, but she did a lot of work in the off season. She worked really hard on herself um, to p push herself forward, and she's getting the just rewards at the minute. And, and our aim is to keep her as healthy and as fit as possible for the remainder of the season to, to make sure we can keep seeing those performances every game. You played a little bit of a different lineup, uh, used all three substitutions, and you, you had uh, Dahlstrom up top. Was that um, kind of a product of just trying new things or getting people rest? A little bit of both. I think um, we wanted to try a few new things. We wanted to see how um, Dave would do higher up the field, um, you know, after her good good assist in the week the game the week before she showed that she can deliver in wide areas and uh, and we wanted to see how she did up there and I thought I thought she did really well um you know I think when you have a roster of 20 you want to try and get them as many minutes as you can wherever possible and um, and we saw Kansas a good chance to just mix it up a little bit and you know getting Steph back on the field towards the end of the game I think was crucial for us Not a lot of shots on goal in that game what's the key to you know increasing that number and becoming a little bit more dangerous I think just keep doing what we're doing and just be a little bit more ruthless going forward and recognising sometimes we try that extra pass rather than try the shot. And I think if we if we can recognise sometimes the, the chance to shake, take the shot a little bit earlier, we might get we might get to see more shots on goal. Kim Little's 4-4 four four from the spot this year. Uh, another perfect one. Barnhart guessed right again and, and nearly had it. But how impressive is that to hit a perfect penalty really all four times? I think for Kim, you know, she... I don't think she thinks about it too much. I think that's part of the reason why she's successful is she doesn't overthink it. Um, and when she steps up, I think she makes a decision there and then what she's going to do. I don't think it's like mapped out and planned out what she's going to do. You know, she doesn't really practice on very often. So I don't, it's, it's interesting to see how she does. And, you know, just pleased for her that there's a lot of... Um, emphasis on her in our team and how we play not just obviously from the penalty spot but I think the more we can keep her again keep her fit and healthy the more successful we potentially could be.